Tonight at 7.30pm, we will be covering the vigil of the princes. The Queen's four children, King Charles, Princess Anne, Prince Andrew and Prince Edward, will be at Westminster Hall to stand guard over Her Majesty for 15 minutes. But first, let's join our Home and Security editor, Mark White, who is outside Buckingham Palace for us right now. Mark, yes, we're going to be going live to that vigil of the princes, but what's going on where you are? Well, just now we just saw the Princess Royal, Princess Anne, uh, her vehicle just heading into Buckingham Palace ahead of heading out to Westminster Hall to begin that vigil. Now, what we don't know is whether King Charles and the two brothers will also be heading to Buckingham Palace and then them all uh, processing together, if you like, in a motorcade to, to Westminster Hall. That would be... Uh, a sight to behold if that happens, obviously, for the crowds who are gathered here at Buckingham Palace. So we'll keep you updated with that. But regardless, the Princess Royal will certainly head out uh, of Buckingham Palace in the minutes ahead as we head towards 7.30 and the expected start of that vigil. It will be a deeply moving occasion because it will be an echo of what we saw at St Giles Cathedral in Edinburgh when uh, the king and his two brothers and Princess Anne stood vigil at the coffin to uh, Her Majesty in uh, St Giles Cathedral. So it will be, uh, as I say, an echo of that as for 15 minutes they stand guard within Westminster Hall. Uh, and tomorrow we are getting uh, a similar vigil which will be uh, the request of the king, the grandchildren, of the late monarch will take up positions uh, around the coffin to Her Majesty as well. So again, two incredibly moving evenings ahead, I think, in terms of what we will see in Westminster Hall. There, of course, once again to pay uh, their respects and homage to Her Majesty, along with the many thousands of people who have been continuing to queue uh, over recent hours uh, to get in to uh, pay their respects. And we know, of course, the queues have been so large, Patrick, that they've had to uh, suspend the operations, suspend the movement of those queues for a while so they could just get at the head of that queue properly through the security and through Westminster Hall for the rest of the queue to start moving again.